metals are widely used in our daily life. Many products around us are made of metals or consist of metal parts. In fact, the use of metals depends on not only the ease of extraction and the availability of metals, but also the properties of metals. The following shows the general properties of metals and how they relate to their uses. Most metals are shiny in appearance. For example, gold is commonly used to make jewelry. Most metals are strong. For example, iron is widely used as construction materials. Metals are good conductors of electricity. For example, copper can be used to make electrical wires. Metals are good conductors of heat. For example, iron can be used to make cooking utensils. Metals are malleable, which means that they can be pressed into thin sheets without breaking. For example, aluminium is commonly used to make thin sheets for packaging. Metals are ductile, which means that they can be stretched into wires without breaking. For example, aluminium can be stretched into long cables to transmit electricity. Most metals have high melting points. For example, tungsten can be heated to very high temperatures without melting. In general, metals have the common properties above. However, they may display a wide variation in these properties. For example, gold is shinier than iron. Tungsten has a higher melting point than most of the other metals. In the following experiment, we are going to compare the properties of some common metals. In this experiment, you will compare the strength, thermal conductivity, electrical conductivity, and malleability of copper, iron, and aluminium. First, we will compare their strength. You are given a copper strip, an iron strip, and an aluminium strip of the same size and thickness. Try to bend each metal with your hands. Arrange them in order of increasing strength. Then, we will compare their thermal conductivity. You are given a copper rod, an iron rod, and an aluminium rod of the same length and diameter. Set up the apparatus as shown. Fix a pin to the end of each metal rod using wax. Heat the other end of the rods using a strong Bunsen flame. The higher the heat conductivity of the metal sample, the sooner the pin falls. Arrange the metal samples in order of increasing thermal conductivity. Next, we will compare their electrical conductivity. You are given a copper rod, an iron rod, and an aluminium rod of the same length and diameter. Set up a circuit as shown. Note that the distance between the two crocodile clips attached to the rods should be kept the same. The higher the electrical conductivity of the metal sample, the brighter is the bulb. Arrange the metal samples in order of increasing electrical conductivity. Last, we will compare their malleability. You are given a copper block, an iron block and an aluminium block of the same size and shape. Use a hammer 
to hit each metal block on a steel board as shown. The metal samples with higher malleability are flattened more easily with a hammer. Arrange the metal samples in order of increasing malleability. The variation in the properties of metals make different metals suitable for different uses. For example, aluminium is very malleable so it is suitable for making thin sheets for packaging. Copper is a very good conductor of electricity so it is suitable for making electric wires. The high strength of iron makes it a good construction material.